So I got a bad hair day today, just trying to figure out which ca which cap I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on this one. This is always the safest way to go. One of my favorite caps. You, we don't need this cap, so let it go. Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Timo Varrakas. If that's hard to articulate, you can just call me Tim. Those who watched my videos know that a while back I turned from Canon to Fujifilm and here are five things I didn't know about Fujifilm when I turned to Fujifilm, before I turned to Fujifilm. That just came new to me. The first one is the variety of different kind of cameras for different kind of people. So I knew about the X100 series. That became a hot topic with the X100B. Then I knew about the XT series and the XH series. But then there's like the XE series and the X Pro series that I had no clue about. And then there's a whole bunch of other, other different kind of cameras. And all these different lines of cameras have different kind of specs for different kind of users. I am using the XH series mainly for my professional work and my videos. And then I have the X100 that I've been using for street photography and just, you know, taking photos on a daily basis just of things <laughs> so so if you want an easy handheld camera this is the way to go but yeah these are the line of cameras i've been using now i know about the xt series because i was looking for flagship cameras and the xt series used to be fujifilm's flagship thing and now it's the xh so that's why I knew about it. But I don't know that much about it because I have never used it. No, wait a sec. I used the X-T30. Yeah, I've, I've used one X-T camera. Then there's the XS series. Now the XS10 seems like a capable camera that people are still using. And now they announced the XS20. Now the second thing is that with this variety of different kind of cameras, the Fujifilm is without a doubt the best series for beginners. And why is that? That is because of the dials. It's easier. Sorry, I'm just going to move the mic. It is in my way right there. It is easier to learn the lighting triangle that consists of ISO aperture and shutter speed just with these dials because you can just flip those dials on 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 top of there you know so it's easier just to fiddle around and figure out those things and learn those things than going always to the menus and scrolling and stuff like that so those manual dials it's easier to learn the lighting triangle that is one of those things going back to the variety of cameras that means there is a camera for different budgets. That helps it out for a beginner to pick out a camera that suits their budget. And also the lenses, they're not that expensive if you think about a Canon or an Icon where the professional lenses are pretty expensive for a beginner. So it's easier to start out with Fujifilm. You can later on change to the camera you want the Fujifilm is so great that why would you want to change? Now the third thing is film recipes. When I changed to Fujifilm I knew that they had film simulations but the recipes they came new to me and it just opened up a new different kind of world for photography and video making for me. I did not have any idea of those recipes. I learned about Fuji X Weekly after I bought those cameras and found a lot of different recipes that I've been using for videos and photography. And there's a lot of creators out there that do their own recipes and you can try them out. So that is just awesome. Then there's the accessories, especially for the X100 series that I like. First of all, you have the big red button onto your shutter button that helps you helps you just recognize where the shutter is when you're on the go out there taking photos. Then there's the thumb placement right there on top of it next to the shutter button that gives it a vintage kind of look like an old cameras where you reload the film before you take a picture, but it's there just to, you know, hold your camera in place more easily. This is, these are cool things that I like about Fujifilm. Then the fifth thing is the sensors and the grain. This is pretty interesting to me still yet, even though I have used these cameras a lot. Now, first of all, the sensor gives out great Fuji colors and I just love them. I don't know why. I love the x -Trans sensor 4 and the 5. I love the sensor that is on the first X100. Then there's the grain. The grain does not feel like noise. Actually, in Fujifilm, it feels more like film grain. It doesn't feel like noise. It doesn't feel like a bummer that you have it there. It just gives this film look 
to your pictures. Now, these are the five things that I did not know about Fujifilm when I turned to Fujifilm before buying a Fujifilm camera. And these are pretty positive things to me, at least. For somebody, maybe the grain isn't that positive, but for me, it is. There might be a lot of different things out there that I didn't know that I still don't know about Fujifilm. And I'm still learning about Fujifilm. So I'll get back to those later on. But these are the first things, the first five things that came to mind when I changed the Fujifilm. And remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Jesus Christ.